In this episode, I'm going to show you how to create a camera that follows the player with a smooth transition. So I've got this player here. If we look at the event sheet, he just has some basic movement configuration. So A and D and jump to, to uh, W to jump. You can see that we can move left and right, but when we get to the edge of the screen, he just moves off and the camera doesn't follow. So the first thing we need to do is add a camera. Now you can do this by simply adding a behavior scroll to to the object that you want the camera to follow. So now if we play the game it works fine. It'll just follow the player around and that's perfectly adequate. However, we can add some effects. So let's take the scroll to behavior off the player and let's create a separate object which will be a sprite It doesn't matter what color. And this is going to act as now the camera. So let's give it a behavior. Now what we need to do is set the position of this camera to the player. If we were to add an event, we can simply say system every tick. So every frame of the game, we want this sprite and we want to set the position and this is where we need to put in the code. We could simply put player.x and player.y and that will be exactly the same as what we had before with the player. Oh, it's covering up the player. Set the initial, initial, set the initial visibility to false. And now that will be exactly the same as what we had for the player in the first instance. However, by having a separate object as the camera, we can add a slight delay to the movement. So for the Y axis, because we're not moving up and down in this game, I'm just going to set the position of the camera to equal the player's Y position. <clears throat> However, for the player's X position, I want to use the lerp expression. Now when we type in lerp with an open bracket, we then have to submit three um, perimeters. The first one is the camera's x position. So we can type in sprite.x. The second one is the object we're following. So we can type in player.x. And the fourth one is the delay. So I'm going to type 0.05 and then close it off. So now there's going to be a slight delay on the movement. So when we move to the right, you can see the camera then bounces to catch up when we stop. And you can play around with this number here to make it exactly what you want. If we were to just type 1, this would be pretty much exactly as we had before with no delay movement on it whatsoever. So it would stop when we stop. And the further away you get from 1, so 0 0.01, the bigger that movement delay is going to be. 